brought to you by Girls Road Coffee. Hey everyone, it's Nikki from <laughs> Fables and Fauna, and the paper samples from Print Ninja have arrived! It's amazing! <laughs> so now I can finally see the paper for myself before I order Amelia the Flying Cat. I super, super appreciate every single Kickstarter backer, and I really want to make sure that I at least touch the paper before I um, spend all that precious funding money. I want to make sure every dollar counts and is used to its best potential. So I'm going to cover the five decisions that I need to make. The binding type, number one. Number two, the interior paper finish. Number three, interior paper weight. Number four, the cover finish. And five, the fun part, because it's shiny, the cover details. Number one, the binding type. Now, actually, out of all of these options on their binding types, only one is a uh, hardback, you know, except for a board book option. But um, Amelia the Flying Cat is going to be a hardback book, so that kind of makes this decision easy, obviously. <laughs> so final decision choice for binding type is case binding, aka hardcover. Number two, the finish. Mm. So right now I'm flipping through that little Print Ninja paper sample book and you can kind of see the gloss of the pages as I sort of move it in and out of the light. Um, that's the paper finish, and that's exactly what we're talking about here. So there's three different paper types um, that they offer. One is glossy, one is matte, and one is uncoated. So I actually have to admit, I couldn't tell much of a difference between the glossy and the matte. They both looked really glossy to me, and the uncoated looked very, very bare bones. So that was a, a surprising discovery for me through this process. Also, I felt the uncoated option was just way too bare bones. This sample kids book they sent me, these pages are actually matte, and they don't look matte at all. But if I had to choose out of the three, I think the best choice for Amelia the Flying Cat would be the matte finish. Number three, the paperweight. So, how heavy it is. So the paperweight is kind of hard for me to show you through a video um, because it's all, it's all based on touch. But um, the 55 pound in color that was uncoated, I'd say that was basically the same as the pages from a little golden book. So really cheap, flimsy, almost newspapery type texture. This comic book is an 85 pound, and I was really impressed with how durable these pages were. Um, the kids book sample was 105 pound. And I was originally looking at the 135, but after feeling and flipping these pages, I felt like it was a, a really good weight for it because the 135 almost felt stiff and heavy enough to be like a cover for a book. So that leaves me with my final decision. My paperweight of choice is the 105 pound. Number four is the cover finish type. First of all, I gotta say that I love this kids book sample they sent me because it's exactly the same size as Amelia the Flying Cat will be. So it, it couldn't have been any more perfect of an example for me, which is fantastic. Now about the finish, this one is a matte finish. It has a dust jacket, which I was kind of surprised that I really liked the dust jacket. But I digress. Uh, the, the finish type uh, surprised me because I, I was expecting to like the matte a lot more than I did. 
This one didn't have any details to go with it, so the, the flat matte just looked plain and boring. I think a matte cover really needs those extra little details to make it pop off the shelf. Because see how I turn it here? Just nothing glimmers and it's it just isn't eye-catching. So I do like the matte, but with some extra detailing. But if I got a gloss cover finish, then all the other extra cover details that I get would be completely lost. So that gives me one clear answer. So my cover finish of choice would be the matte finish. And number five, the most fun, is the cover details. So little shiny things. That's all you need to know. They're shiny things. Yeah. How fun are these foil stamps? I had no idea they had so many different color options and I was just ooing and aahing at this and I didn't really expect to um, fall in love with these quite so much. I really like how their sample graphic novel, novel um, utilized the foil stamping with the spot gloss. I thought it made the cover look really nice and um, I kept eyeing that indigo one and looking at it for my title. Um, so I was going to ask you guys, what would you think about seeing the flying cat written in an indigo foil stamp? Um, I also was originally planning to have Amelia, um, the character and the letters, in a spot gloss. So um, that was a cover detail I was already sort of planning and I budgeted for as well. Um, but the extra foil is a cool detail. See, this is what I was talking about on this sample. I just love how the title really shines, even off the spine. It looks really nice. So, spot gloss, spot gloss, definite, with the matte finish. What I want to know from you guys is should I do a foil lettering? And what do you guys feel about um, dust jackets? But yeah, I really wanted to share with you guys because you guys have made this book come together. You deserve to be there with me during each step of the process. And I'm happy to have you guys here with me. I'm more than happy to have you guys here with me. I'm so glad you're here with me. You a flying cat is going to get ordered soon, you guys. Oh my god. See ya! <laughs> testing, testing, do 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 do.